So we do that our program, AC Sake. If Hili Hite element connected to 240 volt PV high supply, draw a tail and via. We need to determine the phase and get a bit of power, power consumed by the socket. So in this case, uh, we can draw the power tiger. This is a uh, active power. Active power is what? This is equal to the voltage, current, and power factor. Voltage divided by current, divided by power factor, we can calculate the active power. So active power is W. Here is a reactive power. Reactive power. Reactive power is Vi sine phi. The J and gay phi here. This one we call the appearance power. Appearance power is Vi to I. This is the single phase of power. Single phase AC circuit, we can calculate the active power, reactive power, and the appearance power. Active power is body multiplied current. Appearance power is body multiplied current. Active power is body multiplied current multiplied cos phi. This cos phi we also call the power factor. And reactive power is Vi sine phi. This is the way we can calculate the power. So that this problem, we connect the Theta. Theta is only resistant. We connect the theta to the AC supply. AC supply is 240 volt. And 50 has AC supply. We connect the theta to AC supply. AC supply is 240 volt, 50 hertz. And then this theta draws the current there and there. So because of the theta, only the system power for die one. So the only the system power for die one. Only the system power for die is one. So this is why we can calculate the power. Power to V to I. So the body is 244. Current is there and here. So they got 2400 watt. 2400 watt or 2 by 4 kilowatt and also the appearance power so this power is active power appearance power also voting multiply current so the 240 multiply 10 so you got the 24004 m for the heater we can use a formula both the active and the appearance power, we can use a body multiplying current because of the power that I want. But if the coin load or the capacitor load, we can use a different formula. In this case, we have to concern about the power factor. So this is why that if you connect the heater to the uh, 240 volt 50 hertz supply, when the heater is drawing the 10 MBA current, we can calculate active power is VA to I is a 240 by 10, you call it 2400 watt. Appearance power also VI, so that will be the 240 by 10, so 24004 m This is the way we can calculate that. And also the phase angle is zero. Because of the theta, phase angle is zero. The next one is a capacitor. We connect the capacitor to the 250 volt, 50 hertz supply, draw the 12 MVR. So this is the capacitor here, 240 volt, 50 hertz supply. So it's drawing the 12 MVR. So here capacitor. So in this case our capacitor, we can use the equation. In this case, capacitor is a this phi is a 90 degree because of this angle phi is a 90 degree for the capacitor. So we can calculate active power. 
vi cos phi the voltage 240 volt current 12 cos phi cos 90 cos 90 is zero this is the active power is zero one we also calculate the appearance bound. Appearance bound is V into I. For the 240, current is 12. Therefore, we call that 2880 for N. And also the phase angle. Phase angle is a 90 degree. This is the way we can calculate appearance bound. And the next problem, we need to calculate single phase 240 volt 50 hertz circuit. Draw the 5 MBR from the power supply, operate at the lagging power product 0.8. So this is the circuit. So this means that this circuit here, it draw the electrical current. Voltage is 240 volt. And 50 hertz. Electrical current is a 5 MBR. In this case, power factor 0 by 8. So power factor is cos theta. Cos theta is 0 by 8, therefore the theta equal to cos inverse 0 by 8. So you got the that is 6 by 8 degree. This is the way we can calculate the angle. So that we need to calculate and have to find out the circuit impedance, impedance Z. Impedance is voltage by current. So voltage 240, current is 5, so they will 48 ohm. Impedance Z is 48 ohm. Phase angle, we already got calculated phase angle 36 by 8 degree. So this is the phase angle 36 by 8 degree. Phase angle 36 by 8 degree. True power. Can we calculate VI cos phi? It is VI cos theta. So the voltage is at 240, current is 5, cos theta is 0 0.8. Therefore, we can calculate this is a 961. So true power is 961 we got. The next one, problem. A single phase load draw the 2 by 5 MBR from the 32 volt, 50 hertz supply. Power consumed by the circuit is 60 watt. We need to determine the circuit impedance, appearance power, circuit power factor, phase angle, and the relative power of the circuit. So it has to be calculated. So the here is the single phase load here. That will be the 32 volt. We have supply. The current drawn from the supply is 2.5 MVR. So in this case, 80 power, 61. Eighty power. So we can calculate equation VI cos theta equal to 60. The body 32 current 2 by 5 and the cost theta. So this is for the <coughs> 60 so that we can <coughs> calculate and get theta can be calculated. Cost theta is 60 divided by 32 into 2 by 5. Then we can calculate the cost theta. So that will be the 60 divided by 32 divided by 2.5. That will be 0 by 75. So theta equal to cost in 0 by 75. So the inverse cost 0.75. We call that 41 by 40. And get 41 by 40. So so, circuit impedance need to be calculated impedance Z, the voltage by current. Voltage 32 volt, current 2 by 5. 32 by 2 by 5, we got the 12.8 ohm. 
Taki and Vida is two by eight O we go. And power factor is zero by seven five. Face and K, we got the forty one by four D. And then we also need to calculate the reactive power. Reactive power. Reactive power, we can do that symbol Q, so this is a VI inside here. So for the 32 current 2 by 5, I side 41 by 4. Side 41 by 4. So by solving this one, get it power by 52 by 9 4. Bar. Get it power is 52 by 9. Bar we can calculate it. So this is the way we can calculate the best problem. Okay, the next problem. It's say 240 or 50 has single base arcade, legend free and get 30 degree. So in this case, for the 240 volt and 50 hertz. Fish and get theta. 30 degree. Our consume is 1 by 5 kilowatt. T equal to 1 by 5 kilowatt or 1500 watt. So we have to utilize the power trigger to determine the parent power and real power. So the, this is the power trigger here. This is active power P is 15001. And get theta 30 degree. We need to find the reactive power, a bit of power S and reactive power Q. All they need to be calculated. So the firstly, we can calculate the apparent power and reactive power. So in this case, uh, apparent power need to be calculated. So apparent power S equal to at the power divided by power factor. So this is a at the power is one five zero zero one. Power factor is cost thirty degree. The one five zero zero divided by the power factor is cost thirty. So the cost thirty degree. Cost thirty equal to zero point eight six six. So the 1500 So we got 1732 kVA bar or 1732 kVA. So this is what we can calculate the power. And also the we also need to calculate the this component Q. Q equal to the P tangent theta. So P is a 1500 zero zero because we need the opposite side. So the opposite side equal to can be calculated adjacent side and tangent theta. So the P value is a 1500 zero zero tangent 30. So 1500 zero zero multiply tangent 30 degree. So tangent 30 is 0 0.577. So we multiply 0.577 multiplied by 1500. So you got the 866 bar. So this is why that if you know the uh, angle value, if you know the active power, you, you will be able to calculate the apparent power as well as the real power. Okay, the next problem. Two hundred forty volt fifty hertz single phase inductive load operate at the constant two by four kilowatt input power. We need to determine the power factor 
also the uh, when the power factor is so we need to determine the current when the power factor is 0 0.2 and also power factor is a 0.9 legend so then we have to calculate so the in this case our voltage is equal to the 240 volt frequency a is a very high is given and then input power at the power is 2.4 kilowatt or 2400 watt is given to so power factor power factor equal to cos theta is 0 0.2 so that we need to calculate the current so vi cos theta equal to power for the 240 current unknown cos theta is 0.2 power is 2400 so from here you can calculate the current i 2400 divided by 240 into 0.2 so that will be the uh, 2 body line by 2, so we can calculate the current. So current equal to 50 MVR. When the power of the is 0 by 2, current 50 MVR. Another thing is a uh, PF or cos theta equal to 0 0.9. We also need to calculate the current. In this case, we substitute 240 into current multiplied 0 0.9 is equal to 2400 then we can calculate the current 2400 divided by 240 multiplied 0 0.9 so by solving this one that will be the 11.1 ampere so in this case as you can see when the same output at the power same value to the voltage when user increase the power factor, the current will be decreased. This is why the power factor needs to be improved. By improving the power factor, you can reduce the supply current as well. The next one. This program. So there is a load. Load is an active power is a 15001 operating at the power factor 0.5 Power factor cos theta equal to 0 0.5 lagging. So we have to utilize when the power factor input to 0.95 lagging. We have to find out the apparent power, the added power. So we have to find out apparent power S2 and the added power Q2 when the power for that equal to 0 0.95 lagging. Like so in this case, we can find out the power for that. So that will be the 1500. So that the same power of data, we can find out the S2. S2 equal to P divided by the new power of data. So power is a 1500, new power of data is 0.95. Then we can find out the apparent power, 1500 divided by 0.95. So you got uh, 1578 for N. 8.9 and also, we also need to find out the uh, reactive power. So in this case, cos theta is 0 0.95. So theta equal to uh, cos eva 0 0.95. So eva cos 0 0.95. That will be the 18.19 degree. Then, we can find calculate Q2. So this is P2 tangent theta 2. So P2 is 1500 into tangent 18.19. So 
So 80 by 1 is tangent. Multiply 1500. So you got that. 400, so about 489 volt up. PAR. So this is the way we can calculate the new power. The next problem. Here is a circuit given. Then we put a capacitor and also load. So this is a circuit here. This is a power factor improvement capacitor and here is low. So low is drawing a 0 0.75 power factor lagging. So this is a power factor 0 0.75 lagging. Low draw a 25 MVR. Low is taking a 25 MVR from a supply. It's, it's power factor is 0 0.75 lagging. And also the power factor improvement capacitor. The current flow rate of the is 11 MPa. We connect a supply, 240 volt supply, and 50 hertz. 240 volt supply and 50 hertz we connect it. So we have to calculate. We have to calculate the supply current. We need to calculate the phase engage. We need to calculate the power factor. We need to calculate the apparent power. More has to be calculated. So firstly, we have to draw the circuit diagram. In this case, by a circuit diagram. By a circuit diagram, we have to draw the angle. So in this case, our 25 MVR, 0 by 75 like in how the current is flowing. Both in current have to uh, draw. So there is a, firstly, we have to find out. 0 by 75 like in is cos theta is 0 by 75. Therefore, theta equal to cos inverse 0 by 75. So we find out the angle value, cos inverse 0 by 75. So this is a 41 by 40. So this current is a 0 by 75 lagging. So we need to draw this as a diagram. Here is a pair circuit. Both is a reference. The current draw 41 by 4 degree. 41 by 4. Then current, we draw the current. This is a 25 MVR. So this is the inductor current. So this is IRL. The 25 MVR. And then also we need to draw the capacitor current. Capacitor current is ever leading a holding by 90 degree. So this is the here. This this direction is a leading, this is a lagging. So the capacitor current 11 MVR. Leading a holding by 90 degree. So we can find out the total current. So then we complete this, this one parallelogram. Here we need a total current IT. I total. So this one we can find out the side equation. So this is the IIR, this is the IC. So that we write down the equation. I total square equal to IRL square plus IC square plus two IRL IC and the cos theta. The cos theta is this, this is this angle. The theta is 90 plus 41.4. So you got the 131 by 40. This is the cos theta. So we can find out the ID equal to square root of IRL square plus IC square plus 2 IRL IC and the cos theta. So this is the way we can find out the total current. So that we substitute the magnitude in the formula. So there will be the IRL is a 25 square plus IC 11 square 2 into 25 into 11 and the cos 131.4. So this is the way we can find out the I total. So that that will be the 25 square is 625. 11 square is 1 to 1. 2 multiplied 25 multiplied 11. So 2 multiplied 25 multiplied 11. That will be the 550. And cos 131 by 4. Cos 131 by 4 is equal to we call it minus 0 by 6. So we can sort it this one. So the 625 plus 
121 minus 550 multiply 566. So you got 383. The so square root. So square root 383. You got there 19.57 uh, MVR. The current is 19.57 MVR. The current you got is a 19.57 MVR you got. Then we had to find out there how much angle. So this angle is a beta. Beta need to be find out. To find a beta, you need to find the this angle. Delta. You go that here, this is a 41 by 4 is equal to uh, this beta. This beta is here. This is a sublime current angle plus an angle delta. So in this case, uh, beta plus delta is equal to the 41.4. So we have to find a delta. How to find a delta? This magnitude is uh, 11 MBR. This current magnitude now we got is 90.57. This is a 131. Here also the 131.4. So this equation, this diagram, this is a 131.4. This magnitude is 25. Here is a 11. We need to find the angle delta. This magnitude to the current 19.57. So that in this case, we can write down a sine root equation. So sine root is 25 by sine 131.4 is equal to 11 by sine delta. So the, in this case, uh, we can calculate the sine delta. 25 sine delta is 11 sine 131.4. So then we call the sine delta 11 sine 131.4 divided by the 25. So this is the way we calculate the sine delta. So the uh, sine 131 by 4. This is the 0.75 multiply 11. So this is 8.25 divided by 25. We call the 0 0.33. So the delta equal to sine inverse 0 0.33. Right, inverse I, 0.33. So you got 90.26. This is the lagging. Angle is 90.26 degree lagging we got. So this is the angle data we got 90.26. So that we can now find out the beta. Beta is this angle. So beta equal to 41.4 minus So this angle will be there, 22.13 D. So angle B that we got. This is a fixed angle. Okay, then we now shall we find out the to the current angle 22.13 degree. So they have to find the power factor. Power factor is 
cos twenty two by one three. So five hundred twenty two by one three cos. Then we power for that zero by nine to black it. And we also need to find the apparent power. Apparent power is voltage equal to P into I. Apparent power is S P into I. So voltage is at 240. So the current of solar water supply is a 19 by 57. Oh, yeah, this one. So 240 multiplied 19.57. So that will be the so the ability power is four by six a sum bar four six nine six bar. So this is the way we can calculate this power. This one problem. So we had to find out where this circuit is given. Yeah, circuit given. In this case, this is a load. Uh, it's drawing the 50 MBR current and uh, 0.25 legend. So supply voltage 240 volt. We need to calculate KBR radian or capacitor required to improve the power factor to the 0 by 9 legend. So in this case, uh, 240 volt 50 MBR provided and original power factor is 0 by 25 legend. So we have to, in this case, we can find out the uh, original eddy power. Eddy power is Vi cos five. Voltage 240, current 50. Cos five is given as 0 by 25. So here you can find out the origin as a eddy power. 240 multiply 50 multiply 0.25. So you got the 3000 watt. So this is for origin as a eddy power. Now this is the origin as the power and also the angle is a point two five. So angle five theta can be calculated find cos mr zero by two five. So the cos m r zero by two five. So this is a seventy five by five two degree. So this is the origin error. So in this case, uh, we can draw the beta diagram power triangle. Original power is 3000 watt. And NG is 75 by 52. The original one. Now that we have to improve the power factor. Power factor. So then we also calculate the original bar. VER1. VER1 can be calculated. How can you calculate? Power into tangent 5 the power is 3000 tangent 5 tangent 75.52 so the 75 by 52 tangent multiply 3000 so this is one 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 six
one six one six one, the original one. Now so we have to change the power factor to point nine lagging. So this is a point nine lagging. So in this case, new power factor. Zero point nine. So in this case, we can find out the angle phi two equal to cos sigma zero point nine. So in our cos zero point nine. So you got the twenty five point eight four. So phi two we got. So the Ti original, we have to find out the new uh, Q2. So new Q2 can be calculated. Q2 equal to uh, 80 power into tangent phi 2. So the 80 power 3000, phi 2 is tangent 25.84. So therefore the tangent 25.84 So this is 0 0.484, 3000 multiplied 0 0.484. So 3000 multiplied, we call it a 1452, 1452.8. So then we have to, so this means a new power. This power needs to be reduced. So the Q1 minus Q2 is a capacitor power. So the original Q1 is a 11616, you choose a 145258. So we subtract. That will be the 11616 minus 1452. That will be 10163. So this is the bar. So the capacitor need to be uh, reduced as that we have the power. That will be the, we calculate it. So that will be 10 by 1 C KVAR. That's much of power need to be reduced. So that we can find out the new apparent power. The new period power can be calculated. How can calculate is uh, we can find the power divided by cos theta. So the power is at 3000, cos theta is 0 0.9. So then new period power will become a 3400 kV. We can find out or 3.4 kV. And we also find out the current. The current can be calculated. So the current equal to uh, 4 and the by 40. 4 and 3400. 40 is a 240. 3400 by 240. That will be 14 by 16 MVR. The current is a 14 by 1 cm. Okay. 